I, M slash 55, have confronted my wife, F slash 55, of inappropriate behavior with a man that we met socially and briefly just the once. This behavior went on over a period of time. I'm throwing this out there as I have nobody to talk to. A few years back my wife of 20 years and I were away and we met another married couple got chatty with them and socialized over a barbecue and a drink. The weekend went well with us socializing. I noticed my wife kept praising the husband and she clearly admired him, which tbh didn't bother me in the slightest. At the end of the weekend we all went out separate ways with a wave and that was it. Or so I thought. Fast forward a few months and I happened to notice a notification pop up on her phone from someone with the husband's name. Thinking nothing of it I ignored it. A few days later another popped up. I ignored it again. The next time it happened I, naturally, wondered what the circumstances were that had resulted in her exchanging telephone numbers with a guy we had met once and why they had felt the need to invite each other to communicate via WhatsApp. I didn't have either his wife's number or his and neither myself or my wife were friends with either of them on Facebook. As a result I tapped on her WhatsApp messages to see what was so interesting for them to be chatting about with her never once mentioning it to me. I was surprised to see that all the messages had been deleted as soon as she had received them. There was nothing. Zip. No history at all. I've never once deleted a WhatsApp message in my life. I've never felt the need to. This sort of put up a few red flags if I'm being honest. At the time I worked in a job 10 miles away that I was anchored to and under no circumstances whatsoever could I ever leave and drive home and she knew this, she was in the house all day, this guy however was an hour down the road, self-employed able to get out and take time off whenever he felt like it. As a result of these red flags and not feeling comfortable confronting her as she had deleted the messages so I had no evidence I waited, and lo and behold up popped yet another notification from him again. By this time the notifications had appeared over a few good weeks prior to their deletion. This time she had got sloppy and hadn't deleted it quickly enough. It was a message from this guy with three simple words leave me alone. I'm no expert but this seemed an extremely loaded sentence to me and I can only begin to imagine what the events were that led up to him sending it. I was intrigued to see how this played out so the following day I looked to see what her response would be. Bang on cue. She had deleted the message, deleted him from WhatsApp and deleted him from her contacts. No trace. Nothing. This all happened a few years back and the other day she said I did something, which was absolutely ridiculous, that made her feel uncomfortable. She likes saying this and after enduring it countless times I decided there and then to ask her to explain her very questionable interactions with this guy and what she had been up to. Her body language immediately spoke volumes with a dropped mouth and nervous fidgeting. She flew into a rage, screaming about unrelated nonsense and then she orchestrated a situation where she could justifiably storm out of the house in under five minutes leaving me on my own for a week. This is her usual MO if we argue might I add. Upon her return I asked for clarification offering her the opportunity to explain so we could then repair things. I was accused of being a lunatic, of fantasizing, of being deluded, that I was going on and on. She then said and has repeated on numerous occasions I can't remember. I think I would have remembered doing this had it been me. I asked her why she had felt the need to not only exchange contact details with him, covertly enter into a series of messages over a couple of months without mentioning it once and then to not only delete them but to also delete him from her phone contacts. She has now doubled down and is sticking to the I can't remember line and refuses to accept any ownership for what she was in my adult mind, up to. There is zero remorse on her part, zero empathy for how shit this had made me feel for years, and zero grasp of just how infantile and unbelievable saying I can't remember, sounds to anybody with a functioning brain. Yesterday, a few days after having been put on the spot, she was walking around the house whistling and singing without a care in the world. When I ask her is she not bothered about any of this her response, several times, is I don't care. Why are you going on about it, I don't care. 
Had this just been a drunken fumble at a party with a guy then I could cope but it's the well-planned, secretive, exhaustive lengths she clearly went to in order to keep it concealed from me that is so unsettling. Added to that the fact she was alone in the house all day, I was stuck at work 10 miles away and he was free to come and go where he liked during the day, you can imagine my thoughts. I suspect he was as deceptive with his wife. All through this I have been calm, considerate, non-argumentative and simply asked for an explanation. That leave me alone message is hugely loaded to me and I'm really quite unreactive. Had someone I met the once sent me a bizarre message like that I would show it to her, ask her what she thought and reply to them. Not delete it and delete all traces of them. Before you start going on about how people deserve privacy and trust one totally agree however my own phone is lying around for all to read, I have nothing to hide, especially from my wife and secondly these messages had appeared for some time and I ignored them for a lengthy period before finally reading the last one. Right now I'm feeling really quite worthless considering not only what she did but also her totally dismissive attitude when finally confronted. I've worked my ass off to provide her with a very comfortable life and having no answers I'm guessing this just has to continue to fester. She is currently in the house barely grunting at me, not speaking to me and has created a perceptible atmosphere that to anybody outside all of this looking in would think that she is somehow the aggrieved party. She is very, very adept at doing that. I'll happily accept any plausible explanation for what she was up to especially considering that all of our friends and associates in life have been well known to the other. Comnet. Time for a lawyer Han something definitely happened sorry this happened to you. Maybe get a pie if you feel the need but if it was me the relationship would be over. Too late the guy broke it off. He should try and find the other guy's wife number once he gets some more proof and see if she can dig anything up on her end. Along to compliments and putting you down to him in comparison, sorry to be real, nudes and videos were shared. Plausible explanation or not, her behavior smacks of disrespect to you, for years, and that is really a more pressing concern. You recount trying to hold a rational conversation with her and she appears not to be having it. And this is a routine occurrence for her? And she leaves for a week at a time when she doesn't get her way? You need counseling individually for why you allow yourself to put up with this. You need counseling as a couple if you can get her to agree, and slash or you need to consult a legal advisor if therapy is not an option or won't work. It's never too late to stand up for yourself. Hugs to you. Next story too. My husband is acting crazy. What do I do? I and my husband have been together 20 years. Six years ago we moved overseas to be with his family. Over the last six years he started taking his work out on me, talking down on me. He controls the money, the car, everything. I have been looking for work to save up and leave but since I do not speak the language, no one will hire me. Last week he was tired, I offered to let him sleep in longer before we went shopping and he flipped out on me in front of our kids. How dare I act like I'm gracing him by letting him sleep were his exact words. He says I'm brainwashing the kids to not talk to him, but the kids see how he treats me and want nothing to do with him. Then a few nights ago we were watching a movie. I had a pillow on my lap, I tossed it on the couch where the cat was sleeping, didn't see the cat. He flipped out big time how I threw that at the cat called me fucking psycho. I ran to my room crying. I have stayed here for four days trapped because he won't let me go downstairs. Today I told him I want a divorce and want to go home. We have no money and I have no family. He flipped out on me calling me a horrible mom a horrible wife and choice other words. He told me I better leave by the end of the week. I told him I have nowhere to go, and I need time to make a plan and save. He said you want to go you leave in a week I don't care what happens to you or the kids. I tried to talk to him but he's watching TV and on his phone acting like he doesn't have a care in the world. He gives me a teenager's SAS, which I have never seen before. What is going on? What do I do? Why is he acting like this? I have no money, nowhere to go, no family stateside. Comnet. 
This is horrible, and I feel for you. It's also something that your future divorce lawyer may want to know, so save that one. You moved overseas to support him, without any opportunities for yourself, and it's not okay for either of you. He's pushing you out out of pettiness, and does seem out of control. Do you feel that this is something you will be able to work out through couples therapy, and will he be open to that? That would be the last resort here, IMHO. Otherwise, know that you are yo and have such a big part of your life ahead of you, more than you had until now, realistically. So think it through if you want to carry on without any changes or eat the sunken cost and move on. He has someone else he wants to be with. He wants to drive you out of the house. I would start checking where he is spending his money. Does he control all the money? Can you get little side jobs for cash? Save that up. If you want to leave, will you be taking the kids? Sit down and figure out how much it will cost for one-way tickets home. Tell hubby you are happy to leave for dollar dollar dollar. 